savage eject. <laughs> Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Studio Series Core Class Bumblebee Movie Ravage. And yes, I've got pieces rattling around in this packaging. Now, big shout out to Extra Zero from the channel Figure Action for finding Ravage for me and sending him my way. Now, when the box arrived with Ravage, I could hear this rattling around in the packaging. Not Ravage's packaging, but the box itself. And one of Ravage's weapons had fallen out and was bouncing around the box. Which goes to me complaining about this new packaging. There is no window. I mean, how many of these are going to be on the shelf with missing parts? I mean... This is the little sec piece that was uh, floating around in there, and it was, I guess, attached somewhere in the corner. I looked. There's other weapons down in there as well. I'm not sure if you can see them. But how easy would that be for those to just fall out? I mean, how many ravages are going to be returned for missing pieces? I can understand this whole Green New Deal packaging, but, man, come on. This is just that's too easy for people to steal or weapons and stuff to fall out, but that's that's a rant for another video. Taking a quick look at the packaging, we've got Ravage right there in robot mode from the Bumblebee movie, Transformers, Bumblebee, Studio Series. You got Ravage there on the side, Ravage on the other side. Back of the packaging shows Ravage in robot mode and cube mode. So now, without further ado, let's get Ravage opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Ravage all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated, but fairly easy to follow. There are some design choices right here especially that shows an odd angle of ravage and it took me a second to figure out how to fold him up into a cube he also comes with a few accessories you've got this piece right here this is the piece that was falling around inside the box you've got this little missile pod and you've got these two little hip blasters. So what we're going to do first is let's go ahead and attach the weaponry to Ravage. We'll start with the hip blasters first and there's little holes right there on his hips so you can go ahead and plug those in. I like to put mine in with this little section here facing up just like the original Ravage had the section sticking up from the scope or from the missile. Look like a scope. So there we go. We got the hip missiles attached. Now we have the missile pod, and it shows in the instructions that the missile pod is going to go here on his back. That'll peg in right there. These are small. So there we go. And then we have this piece here, which plugs in under his gut. So there you go. Ravage, all armed and ready for battle. Now I like all of the weapon accessories except for this one. This one just seems out of place, but I'll show you where that goes later on. Now taking a closer look at Ravage, 
This figure looks really, really good, and just like he looked in the Bumblebee movie. Man, I remember almost spilling my popcorn when Soundwave ejected Ravage. That was so cool. Lots of molded detail on the figure. Great paint applications. Got a little Decepticon insignia there on both shoulders. Some red and white stripes here on the back. Face sculpt is really good. Love the yellow eyes. Kind of interesting design choice with that turkey waddle there under his chin, but that helps move the mouth up and down or open and close. So that's pretty cool that it gave him an articulated mouth. Other articulation, man, he's got the moves. Legs can do a complete 360, though you are going to catch on some pieces. There's bends at the knees, the feet, all four legs exactly the same. The tail can wag up and down, and the head can go up and down as well. So lots of articulation for this little figure. And he just, he looks really good. I mean, when's the last time we had a really good looking Ravage figure in the main line? Now, let's go ahead and get him transformed. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and remove the weaponry. You can actually take the launcher here and put it on his stomach where the other weapon was. And you can leave that there in robot mode and in and for transformation. Excuse me, getting tongue tied. So the first thing we're going to do is right here with the hips, we're going to move this section down right here. So fold this in. You'll try to keep the legs up or the hips up rather. And then you're going to bring this whole back section with the tail down and around. Once again, like I said, you want to make sure that the hips are facing up like so. They do catch. So now we have that going on. We're going to take the beast head or Ravage's head, fold it under like so. And now we're going to bring the legs up. I have to move the four legs out of the way. See the little peg right or the little hole right there? There is a peg on Ravage's foot that you want to line up and get inside that hole. Bring the foot down like so. There we go. Go ahead and do this for the other side. That one's tricky. Of course, this figure is so small and trying to see how to put it in there. Now, we're going to bring the four legs back. Go ahead and get that toe facing back. Bring the four legs down. And there's also a little peg right here you want to line up with that hole on the foreleg. So kind of get that manipulated. You know, it's these little figures that transform into cubes and stuff are always kind of confusing at first. Let's see, what have I done wrong? Oh, well, this foot right here needs to go back. So everything has just got to fit in just right. And there is Ravage in his cube mode. You want to go ahead and take the weapons and the ones that we had here on the hips. They're going to now peg into that hole right there. And you want to make sure, see how it won't go flush all the way? You have to make sure that little scope thing is facing out this time. So there is a certain orientation you have to have for the weapons. Go ahead and get this one done on this side. There we go. So here he is in cube mode. And you can actually take this weapon here and attach it on top of Ravage. So now he's some type of artillery emplacement or gun emplacement or something something like that it's weird you really don't have to <laughs> do anything with that but cube mode it's just that it is a cube and this is designed to go in studio series 86 soundwave so now just hit the eject button on soundwave shoulder and ravage should slide right in may take a little bit of work to get him in just right but there you go the door shuts and Ravage is secure. And he looks pretty good inside Soundwave. I dig it. It's pretty cool. So, now what do you do with this extra weapon piece? Well, this is designed to go in Soundwave's shoulder cannon. So now he has more of a G1 inspired weapon. But, 
Soundwave didn't have that look for the shoulder cannon. So what you can do, go ahead and pop the shoulder cannon off. Fold this section here in, which will reveal another handle. Pop that in Soundwave's fist. And now Studio Series 86 Soundwave looks a lot more G1. Of course, his other blaster, you can peg that in, in the same hole where the shoulder cannon was. So you've got that look going on. I mean, it's not great. I wish he had another shoulder cannon. Part of me figure, figures if he, you know, this sound wave comes on clearance, I may grab another one just so I can have another shoulder cannon. Of course, you can flip this back section up and bring the gun up over his shoulder like so. Now, while you have this section up right here, you can go ahead and hit the button and put your finger through and push Ravage out. Other than that, he's really hard to take out, just pull him out of the front. So there you go, guys, the Studio Series 86 Ravage. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Studio Series Core Class Bumblebee Ravage with Generation 1 Ravage. And see what I was talking about with the scopes on top of the missiles there on G1 and the callback on the Studio Series. War for Cybertron Ravage. That one was a joke. And War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Ravage. Another joke. The Transformers Studio Series Core Class Bumblebee Movie Ravage is a great little Ravage figure. One of the best Ravages that we've got in the main line aside from Masterpiece. This figure has tons of articulation, tons of personality. I love all the weapons, especially the little addition for Soundwave. Now his cube mode leaves a little bit to be desired, but Ravage has never been known for a fantastic alt mode. So there you go, guys. Transformers Studio Series Core Class Bumblebee Movie Ravage. So, does a Transformers Studio Series Core Class Bumblebee Movie Ravage belong in your collection? Absolutely, especially if you have Studio Series 86 Soundwave. I mean, they go together like peanut butter and chocolate. Plus, it gives Soundwave this awesome cool addition for his weaponry. Now, if you don't happen to have this Soundwave figure, I think this Ravage would still look good in your collection because, like I said, we haven't had a good Ravage in forever. I mean, we get stuff like the Netflix Ravage or this thing that I actually forgot I had until I was looking through my Ravages that's on my shelf. So yeah, you see this guy on the shelf, pick him up. You're not going to be disappointed. Just be very wary of the packaging. Look inside. Make sure you got all the weapons. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!